Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. Here's the deal with Forza 6 Apex on the PC. Uh, there is no way for me to record natively on 4K because for some reason this is a Microsoft game and Nvidia Shield, not the Nvidia Shield, the uh, GeForce Experience shadow recording won't recognize this game for whatever variety of reasons that Microsoft had ensure that they that you can. So there's no way for me to give you a direct 4K capture. The best I can do here for you guys it's 1080p 60. But even with 1080p 60 recording you will be able to see what you're gonna be getting in terms of quality and graphics this November 7th when the game officially gets released. Uh, here just to show you that it is running on native 4K. I have my computer hooked up to my Samsung KSA 1065 inch uh, and we're gonna go to here let's start to race. We're gonna start to race and then I'm gonna stop the game, pause the game and I'm gonna show you that it's in fact running on native 4K with ultra settings I'm going to show it to you in a minute right here. And I'll, I will also show you that it's running in 60 frames per second. So let's go to the video right here. As you can see right here, it's ultra settings. Everything's set to the ultra. Nothing is set to any kind of low settings. Everything's maximized here. And resolution is 3840 by 2160. And also resolution on my... PC, it's set to 3840, 2160 with my uh, 4K TV. You have seen my previous video, so you know that I'm not BSing. You know that I have it running on a 4K. But for some reason, uh, Microsoft and Windows 10, they won't allow you to record and, and direct capture 4K. They will downscale it to 1080p, 60 I tried it with uh, GeForce Experience, but GeForce Experience NVIDIA cannot recognize this game. That's probably because Microsoft uh, blocked it, so that way you gotta use their software to record this, you know. But there it is, just so you know, it is 3840, 2160, and even with 1080p 60, highest possible bitrate that I'm recording this, you will still, you will notice uh, just how much of detail you'll be getting this November on top of the HDR we, we have I haven't even mentioned the HDR when you add HDR with this oh it's gonna be heaven so there it is just so you know I'm not bullshitting there's ultra there's 3840 2160 and if this is not enough for me to convince you then I don't know what else do you want me to do there as you can see it clearly I highlighted 3840 2160 and ultra Let's resume, and it's running at steady 60 frames per second. You can see it right there uh, on the top center, top center screen. That it's running at the uh, 3840 by 2160 natively, but it's being downscaled for this video on 1080p 60, and it's running on a 60 frames per second. You can see it right there on the top center. And it's really running smooth, no issues here. This is like as smooth as it can be. The graphics are just amazing. The amount of detail that uh, that I see here. Wait, wait till I show you the replay. The amount of detail that you can see is just remarkable, man. On a big giant 65-inch 4K TV, it truly is remarkable, and it just looks amazing, man. Actually, let's restart the race. I want to show you something from the uh, from the beginning. I want you guys to see this from the beginning. Here, look at all that detail on the car. Now I'm gonna start the race from the front hood, so you guys can see it from the front hood. I want you to see all this detail from the front hood in a minute. right there and I want you to see that this detail that you're gonna be able to see on every in each car and the, the range drop bouncing off onto the hood 
and into the uh, the camera I just want you to see this up close and it's this is a steady 60 frames per second and this is what you're gonna be looking at this November on the Xbox one X on top of the HDR now you have to for, you, you know you keep forgetting one thing this is running without HDR the Xbox one X will be will be running with the HDR so you'll be getting a native 4k 60 frames per second with HDR I mean it's just gonna look sick and then Forza 7, I can't even imagine how that's going to look, man. That's going to be just ridiculously smooth and fast. Okay, let's get a little bit closer here. Okay, I'm trying to give you guys the best possible view here. Track. Go inside. You know, again, the, the video that, that you're going to be watching it's really not gonna do a justice until you see this on the big screen unless you uh, I wish that I can have some of you guys here and that you can just sit here and look at the, this big screen and the amount of detail that you're gonna be getting man. the reason I'm doing some of these videos is just to prove a point as to why you're paying $500 for the Xbox One X you know, it's like Phil Spencer said, there's nothing wrong with, with PlayStation 4 and them rendering uh, checkerboarding 4K. There's nothing wrong with that, but Phil Spencer wants you to give, he wants to give you the best. He wants to give you the real deal. He wants you to give you a true 4K console. He wants you to have everything 4K, streaming 4K, recording 4K, playing games in 4K HDR. He truly wants you to feed your 4k TV with the 4k content and, and 4k entertainment 4k gaming and that's what he's trying to do that's why he created that Xbox one X and for people to say that the $500 it's not a fair price well I don't know what do you want me to do give it for free like what would be your fair price $200 <laughs> come on as you can see it's running a steady 60 frames per second no issues here man it's, it's smooth as a butter no problem whatsoever. Now it's slippery here, so I'm like, ooh, ooh, we, we gotta re replay that. That was, that was nasty, man. Uh, just look at the reflection. Look at all the detail and everything, man. It's just mind-boggling man this is a steady 60 FPS we're running here man not it drops maybe one frame once in a while but it's a steady 60 at ultra settings everything set to the ultra man it just runs smooth as a butter smooth as a butter And look inside, man, the, the detail inside a car. It's, it's, it's another remarkable thing as well. It's just uh, truly amazing, man. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a replay really quick. I'm going to go ahead and uh, quit this and do a replay really quick. We'll do that. Let's hit the view replay. And we're going to choose a um, slow spin. I'm going to pause this. We're going to use a slow spin. Uh, that's one of my favorite. Three-quarter view, it's good as well. Side dolly, it's also another good one. Uh, let me show you slide dolly, and then we're going to do a slow spin. We'll do the slow motion. I hope that you are guys watching this on a big screen on, on uh, even though it's 1080p 60 but this is a 1080p on a maximum bit rate so it's like a blu-ray quality I'm trying to give you guys here just look at all of this detail now what you're seeing on your video it's nothing compared to what I'm seeing man on, on this native 4k television just look at the detail on the tires every and each 
drop. There's even raindrops on the brakes. You see the brakes down there? The gold brake. Look at this amount of detail you'll be getting. And then you add HDR. Then you add HDR on this thing, man. It's just bananas, man. It's just totally bananas. Also, everyone needs to understand, I'm not a fanboy. But the only reason I'm defending Xbox this year is because I felt that Xbox has been getting unfair treatment. You know, when I see somebody being treated unfairly, I have to call it out, man. It's like, come on. Looking at the specs, looking at what it's inside that console, even if it was $600, it would still be justifiable. Technically, it would still be justifiable. Okay? But Phil Spencer actually cut you some slack and gave it to you for 500 Which, everyone should be glad and thankful that he did that. I mean, look at this detail. Every and each tire has a raindrop on there. Perfectly aligned. Now, if you were watching this in native 4K in a big 65-inch TV and then you add HDR, this is a Forza 6. Wait to see Forza 7 with that brand new engine. Oh, <clears throat> oh my goodness. I don't know how Gran Turismo Sports is going to be able to compete with that, man, with that checkerboarding. I don't know. Is there going to be checkerboarding or native 4K? Hopefully, hopefully Gran Turismo Sport will be native 4K, but I don't think so. From what I heard, it's going to be checkerboard with HDR. That's what I heard. And then, look, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with having checkerboard native 4K. I mean, checkerboard 4K. It's fine if you're going to be doing a checkerboard 4K. But Phil Spencer said, this is his exact quote. He said, hey, guys, there's nothing wrong with what Sony is doing with checkerboard 4K. But I don't want to do that. I want to, give, I want to go all the way. I want to give my owners the best possible 4K experience. In terms of gaming and entertainment and that's what he's trying to do and yes he tested this just like I'm testing it right now he used that project Scorpio chip 6 teraflops 12 gigabytes GDDR5 RAM he used that and he tested the Apex 4 to 6 on DirectX 12 just like I am testing it right now and he find out that yes we can actually run native 4k 60 frames per second here we can actually do that I mean, look at this detail, man. Now, let me show you this other called uh, slow spin. Let me show you the slow spin. A slow spin is not a great one uh, right here. I, look at that house. You can see the lights inside that house, uh, the trees. Not only are you getting a detailed cam rack, they only, not only are you getting a detailed asphalt. Look at that asphalt. Look at the detail and light on that asphalt. And look at the uh, textures on that asphalt. Look how much of detail just are you getting on the asphalt alone. An accurate reflection of the light, dynamic light. And then look at that house over there and that tree and the forest. Everything looks detailed not not only are you getting a detailed cars but you're getting a detailed environment and weather and the reflect there's no jagged edge lines here the lights are equally represented here the raindrops land perfectly as they should everything it's perfectly aligned here there's no bs here people what you see is what you get here Look at the tires. Look at the raindrops on the tires. They're bouncing off like in real life. And this is a Forza 6. It's not even Forza 7. Look at the birds. There's birds out there. See the birds on the uh, top left, right next to those people where they're standing on the balcony? Look up on that top left corner. Look at the birds flying out. Look at the amount of detail. The amount of detail you're going to see on a big giant 65 or 75 inch 4K TV with HDR when you get the Xbox One X. Uh, 
I mean, seriously, guys, some of you will, will just will be drooling. You won't even be able to play when you when you get your Xbox One X. You're gonna be drooling the entire time because you're gonna be like, oh my god. Especially, look for me. I'm not drooling as much because I already experienced 4K plenty of time now uh, with PCs. But for those of you who only had Xbox One S and X, uh, Xbox Xbox One, and now you're switching from Xbox One 900p to a 4K TV and this native 4K HDR, you guys are gonna be having a heart attack. You guys are gonna be drooling, unbelievably. Now I know some people will get upset <coughs> with this video. Uh, you acting like an Xbox fanboy. No, I'm not acting like an Xbox fanboy. This is a PC. It's not Xbox. I'm just simply showing you uh, what you're going to be experiencing. Giving you a little glimpse of what you can expect to see from the Xbox One X. Because I don't think you understand the value that's inside that console for $500. I don't think some of them understand what 6 teraflop means. I don't think some of them understand what 12 gigabytes GDDR5 high speed bus memory RAM means. I don't think they understand that. You know, 8 cores. I don't think they understand all that. That AMD processor that's in there as well for CPU. So, all of that accumulates into what you're going to be experiencing. I mean, just look at this detail. I mean, and this is a slow motion. And you've seen me do it 60 frames per second. You've seen me do this at 60 FPS. Uh, look, look at the, the, the people in the background taking photos and pictures. I could easily do a Le Mans like documentary here. I can do like a music video with this slow motion here. Uh, hopefully Microsoft appreciates what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> Major, Nel Major Nelson should be doing this, not me. And he works for Microsoft. <laughs> and I know some of you will say, well, this is unfair. You are using a very powerful PC. Uh, yes. But this is what Phil Spencer said. I believe Phil Spencer. He tested this. And this is exact same results he was getting. Plus HDR. Let's 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 uh, let's rehash this. Native 4K, steady 60 FPS, and HDR, high dynamic range. And who the hell knows? Probably Dolby Atmos down the road, because they will support Dolby Atmos. So you see what I'm trying? See what I'm getting at here? You see what I'm trying to to come across here? I know. The Xbox fans will agree with me, and they will understand what I'm trying to do here. Uh, but I know there will be a lot of people out there, like a lot of Sony fanboys, are going to jump on this video, and they're going to dislike the hell out of it. I, I expect that. But I want them to understand, this is why you're paying $500. An extra $100 more than PlayStation 4 Pro, and Pro doesn't even have a 4K player. PlayStation 4 Pro can't even record and capture native 4K recording on a DVR. They can't even do that. All they can do is checkerboarding and some games support HDR, some they don't. Some are 1800p, some are 1440p, depends. Some are just dynamic resolution with some graphical uh, enhancement. I mean, look at that house, look at that house, look at the uh, how, how much it's rendered on that house. You can see the posters inside that building. Look at that building that I'm showing you. Just look at all this detail. Now, I can go faster. There's your 60 frames per second. There you go. I can go faster. But then you lose all the detail when I go faster. That's why I go slower because I want you to see how much stuff is being rendered here. I need you to see all of this. You know, and this is why I hope that I find a good partner. On my channel because this is what you're gonna be expecting to see on this channel and for me somebody who's independent and somebody who's gonna give you a fair share fair detail fair 
justifiable look on something unbiased and fair look this doesn't mean I don't like PlayStation of course I love PlayStation I've been playing Horizon Zero Dawn I dedicated hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of video for PlayStation for Pro but there's a new kid on the block for hundred dollars more look if you can not afford both consoles hey go with the both consoles but if you can't, this is the most reasonable choice this holiday season, this Christmas. This is what you want to be getting. And yes, I know this is being uh, downscaled to 1080p60 because the Xbox, the Windows 10 is not allowing me to capture, direct capture native 4K. All right, so let's try and change the... Uh, Let's do a pan across video. This is another good one. Pan across. It's another great uh, way of showing you the detail. But even with 1080p 60, you will appreciate all of the detail. I'm recording this in the highest possible bitrate on 1080p60. And yes, this is a native 4K. The, the game, its output to native 4K with ultra settings, but it's being downscaled to 1080p60 because for some reason Microsoft Windows 10 won't allow me to record. That's the one thing I Contact it. I actually send an email to Microsoft uh, and let them know why is it that you won't allow game DVR to record native 4K. So, uh, yes, you can do it with the uh, NVIDIA experience, but since this is a Microsoft game, uh, for some reason NVIDIA doesn't recognize it. Just look at all this detail, like 60 frames per second, smooth, fast, perfect. Perfect as it can be, man. Look at this. I'm going to use a side dolly here because I want you to, sh to, to see something. Fly dolly. Check this out. Look at, look at the detail even on, on a helmet. Inside uh, the car and the visors and everything. I mean... I wish that I could record this in a native 4K. Oh my god. You guys have no idea how beautiful this looks, man. And it's not even HDR. Imagine if this was HDR. But this will be HDR on the Xbox One X. I was like, come on, PC. This should be HDR. So, uh, you know, I'm going to be really laughing my ass off. I'm going to be laughing my ass off this holiday season. I'm really going to be laughing my ass off. When I see all of these YouTubers that took a dump, took a shit, complaining about the extra $100 for the price point of Xbox One X, $500. And then come November 7th, November 8th, they're all going to be drooling, talking great things about it. Oh my God, this is an amazing console. Blah, wow. Look at the detail. Wow, 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 wow. A bunch of wows, droolings and everything. And the only guy that defended the console was me. I have the proof, I have the video to do to, to prove that. After the E3 show, after the Phil Spencer made that announcement of the Xbox One X and $500, I was the first guy that said, hey, I respect his decision. That's what I said. All right, let's, uh, let's switch to a uh, slow spin really quick. Let's go a little bit faster. Hold on. Then it's slow down. Look at the helicopter. Hold on. 
Let's go back. Look at the reflection and the detail. It's accurate as possible. Like the geometry and the physics in this game are truly uh, amazing. You know, turn 10, these guys are truly amazing. What they're doing with Forza. I think it's going to be really difficult for Gran Turismo to compete with Forza 7. Considering the, uh, the licensing, the access that Forza Turn 10 has on all of these prototype, pr prototype cars and everything. The partnerships they have, a lot of these uh, car brands. Uh, it's going to be tough for, for uh, Gran Turismo Sport to compete with this. But we'll see what happens this holiday season. This fall, October actually. Because remember, I will have the PC version on the October, so I will be able to show you before November 7th, before the Xbox Scorp uh, Xbox uh, Xbox One X, I still call it Scorpio, before the Xbox One X, I will be able to show you how the PC version look. And then November 7th, when the Xbox X gets released, I will be able to put side by side. Uh, Forza 7 PC version and Xbox One X version. And that's going to be very unique for me to do those tests to, so, to show you what you are getting for $500 versus a beefy PC that will cost you $15, $16, nearly $2,000. And the value you are getting with the Xbox One X. So all of these elements will be implemented come this holiday season. Hopefully, you know... I find a good sponsorship. Hopefully, I can continue to do this YouTube because uh, I know you guys would hate to see me go. It would be a big blow for, for a lot of you because you guys depend on me to show you a unbiased and real second opinion look on things. Because uh, I'm somebody who actually check things out. I actually am showing you exactly... What I'm seeing, I don't just like put a paused screen and just talk some nonsense like a podcast. I actually show it to you. I show you everything unbiasedly and give you my thoughts, my experience on what I'm witnessing, what I'm seeing. So hopefully I can find a good sponsorship. When I say a good sponsorship, I mean I need something that... That they will give me a good kickback, you know. I, I'm not asking to get everything. I'm not trying to be some, uh, you know, greedy bastard. I'm just simply saying I would like to. I would like to find a sponsorship that will give me a fair share for the amount of views that I get, for the amount of subscribers that I get, my fair share. Because right now, what I'm getting during the month, it's 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 embarrassing. I can't even I can't even tell you how much that is because it would be embarrassing for me to even give you that number that's how embarrassing it is and um, you know hopefully this video uh, maybe you you know will reach some other people out there some other sponsorships uh, they can look at this look at some of my videos look at my channel I have over 2,000 videos maybe they can approach me we can negotiate a deal find something good I'm open for any other sponsorships out there but it has to be under my terms people it has to be to a certain term that I can agree on like I'm not asking I'm not saying I, I'm not being greedy I'm just simply saying it has to be something that's fair I'm looking for a fair share that's what I want just look at all this detail man this is ridiculous All right, so hopefully uh, this video. All right, you know what? Maybe we can do one more before we end this video. Maybe I can uh, exit this and we can do one more really quick without the rain. We'll do it just during the, during the sun. So you guys can check it out and see it. So we'll select track. Uh, 
Uh, we'll do the same track right here. Uh, the only difference is we'll use the sun. It'll be like nice and sunny. So let's go ahead. Let's race. It'll be the same car. And then I'm going to end the video. It's been about 30 minutes. Hopefully you guys appreciate all this. Remember, I do this for you. Uh, I don't have to do it for me because I know what I'm seeing. I know exactly how beautiful it is. And I know what my computer is capable of. And I also know what I'm going to be experiencing come this November on the Xbox. And I'm not going to be blown away by the Xbox One X because I already know what, what I'm going to be getting. You know what I mean? <laughs> but I will be blown away by Forza 7. You know, and I will be blown away by the the value. Like, oh my God, look at this. This is a $500 console. $500 console, 4K player, 4K streaming, 4K recording, native 4K HDR gaming, Dolby Atmos. I mean, what the hell more do you want? What the hell more do you want? I mean, look, look at this. Look at this detail. Look at the uh, tarmac. Look at the, uh, the asphalt, the shadows, everything. DirectX 12. This is a DirectX 12 game from Windows 10. And this is what you're going to be getting. Because the Xbox One X will support DirectX 12. Look at this detail. Hey, look at this. I know this video is going to make the Sony fanboys upset. But they need to be upset. They need to realize that... Why, do, why are you fanboy? All right, so you love Sony. That's fine. But why can't you also love Xbox? Why can't you buy Xbox? Why can't you enjoy best of the both worlds? This is my whole point I'm trying to make here. I'm not trying to take one side over the other. This is what Phil Spencer said. Why can't we enjoy best of the both worlds? Why do we have to pick a side? Oh, uh, this is the best or this is the best. No, let's, let's enjoy best of the both worlds. I'm looking to buy a uh, Nintendo Switch. But I can't find it anywhere. I looked everywhere. I can't find it. Believe me, if I could find it, I would have bought it. But I can't find it. All right, let's do this race really quick. Let's do this. Here we go. I mean, look, look at this. Look at the detail, man. I know I said detail like zillions of time, but that's the only way I can express this to you. It's the detail. And the speed. Look how smooth and fast that is. 60 frames per second. Not a hiccup. No hiccups here. Run smooth as a butter. Smooth as a butter, man. No issues here. Come on. Look at this, man. Look at the, the smoke out there and the sunlight beaming out. Looks like somebody's barbecuing over there. <laughs> and it runs smooth. There's no input lag, man. And this runs smooth. Smooth as a butter, man. No issues whatsoever here. And look, look at look at the uh, that sunlight, man. And look at the, the amount of detail that's... Uh, look, you can even see your hel helmet. Your helmet, like, it's overshadowing the, uh, the reflection of the, of the sun. Just look at the reflection of the sun. Man. It's, like, ridiculous. That looks amazing, man. All right. All right, so let's do a quick replay here. Just look at that sunlight. Beaming down, man. On HDR, this is going to look amazing on the HDR, dude. This is going to look amazing on the HDR. All right, so let's do a uh, video replay. 
By the way, there's another video that's going to be coming out soon. I have this one video with uh, Explain 11. Uh, it's a very funny video. I'm going to upload it pretty soon. I want you guys to watch that as well. But for right now, let me show you the replay. We're going to use the same thing. We're going to use the uh, slow spin first and foremost. Let's pause this and let's use a slow spin. Uh... slow spin let's do that and then it's one of my favorites here we go look look at that sunlight I mean, do I even have to, do I even have to, like, commentate, do I have to put any comments here to begin with? I mean, just, this video speaks for itself. And look, like, the, the trees in the background and everything, man. Look at the amount of attention that has been brought up to the detail on the trees and everything, and then the background, and the buildings, and the crowd. And the clouds and the the light, the tarmac, uh, the turn ten, they truly outdone themselves here, and I can't even possibly imagine how this is gonna look on the uh, Forza Seven with the Xbox One X and the PC version. It's gonna be a, probably one of my probably if I'm still doing YouTube November, uh, that video will be probably the most watched video, PC version versus the Xbox One X version, Forza 7. That's going to be truly amazing. And then Forza 7, Xbox One X version, versus the uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, Gran Turismo Sport version. Uh, you know, Like I said, hopefully I'm still doing a YouTube videos. I would love, I mean, honestly, guys, I, I really want to continue, but uh, financially, I got to be able to continue. You know what I mean? Uh, there's ways for you guys to help me too. You know, you can share this video. You can let other people know. This will get the attention from other sponsors. I'm not sponsors, other partnerships. And other partnerships can look at this video and they can say, oh, you know what, you know, this guy definitely has something going on here. He has over 2,000 videos. Let's uh, see if we can make some sort of a deal with him, you know. I'm just asking for a fair share, guys. Uh, when it comes to revenue share, I'm simply asking for a fair share. But the share I've been getting right now, it's... It's shameful, really. I mean, how? I mean, I don't want to call them out because I don't want to be a dick, but uh, it's embarrassing and it's it's insulting for me. It's really insulting for me and embarrassing for me for them to give me this kind of a shitty cut each month. I can't even tell you the number that I got each month. That's how bad it is. That's how low it is. It would be embarrassing number. So there you have it. I mean, uh, this video is turning 38 minutes, close to 40 minutes. And uh, this is what you're going to be looking at, guys, you know, when it comes to uh, Xbox One X this year. This is what you're going to be looking at. This is exactly what you're going to be looking at. And this video, 1080p60, is not doing it justice until you see this in a native 4k and then you add HDR uh, dude it's like you in heaven and you guys will be shortly come November you guys will definitely jump into a 4k generation I think Xbox One X will push to 4k and 4k will become more and more of a standard I think by the 20 uh, fourth quarter of 2018 it's where 4k will truly become more and more of a standard you know what i mean and by 2019 it totally be a standard it'll be like a total standard 4k and hdr will be a total standard just like 1080p has become a standard you know look at this light and the, the reflection and everything i mean if you guys are not drooling yet then i don't know 
look, this is this is uh, then I don't know what else I can do to convince you. I'm doing my best here to show you. Now here I made a mistake. I almost crashed. Yeah, luckily uh, I didn't damage the car, did I? Hopefully you guys are enjoying this. I'm doing this for you. This is all me using the camera. This is all me controlling this. Uh, it's a little trick. What I mean by trick, it's something that I learned at the uh, Art Institute Film School. Uh, you want to go fast when it's something really going the, the the straight road and then when you get to a narrow road or when you get to like a certain sunlight or a certain puddle of water you want to do a slow motion kind of like this kind of like this i'll show you in a minute what i mean it's like this and then you get to the corner and you do this slowly get that grass and everything kind of like that and you do this and then you stop here when it's spin and you do that. All right, so I think this is a good picture right here. We'll leave it right here. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoy this 42-minute video. You know, I do this for you guys. And if this 42 minute, if this 42 minutes wasn't enough for you, then I don't know how much more would you like, honestly. So, hopefully, you enjoy this video. And uh, again, thank you for the old support, for all of the support and everything. Uh, again, uh, I do this for you guys. You know, if it wasn't for you, I don't think I would be doing this. So I just want you to know that I appreciate all 13,000 of you. Thank you for all the support and everything, man. I, I really, truly do mean that, man. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. And you should be excited for the Xbox One X. And you should definitely pre-order it. So you can enjoy this holiday season. Have a nice Thanksgiving and Christmas. And enjoy it. Buy the 4K TV. C7 OLED. With this beautiful Xbox One X console. And have fun. Enjoy it. Treat yourself, man. You should. You work hard. You should treat yourself. You should reward yourself once in a while. There you go. Have a good one, guys. Take care. All right, so I wanted to do that, a little treat for you guys at the end right there. So there you have it. Thank you for watching. Thank you all, guys. Bye.